she loves these on me. Hi everyone, I'm Julima from Scented Moments channel where I help you to explore the amazing world of perfumery. So in this video, I have here seven fragrances that always grabs my girlfriend's attention. And some of them are quite surprising, like you, you notice uh, the one that I sprayed at the beginning of this video. But, uh, but yes, all of these are niche, unfortunately, uh, because, well, lately I've just been using niche fragrances for just some reason. Um, but maybe I will convince her to uh, be here in the channel, to return at uh, this channel and to uh, talk about her favorite design fragrances. Hope that will happen because she's extremely shy. Uh, so that's why she's just been like in a couple of videos, three videos, I think. Uh, but yeah, I hope that we can maybe do a video together on design fragrances. But for for now, I will just talk about niche fragrances. And these are some of her favorite niche fragrances uh, on me. So and without any uh, specific um, ranking, the the first one that i want to mention is the first that i sprayed it is caron pour nom de caron the classic i mean i and you can see how much i already wore this i have over 400 fragrances so uh this really says something this for me it's very versatile it's one of the best lavender fragrances out there this is strictly lavender and vanilla and it's because of that sweet creamy vanilla undertone that I think really grabs her attention because she loves sweet fragrances. She loves vanilla, of course, and more gourmandish fragrances. She likes ambers. Uh, so yeah, this this one is one that I was not expecting because it still has like this lavender and it has a bit of a mature old school feel. But she really do likes this one on me and well for me it's a plus because i absolutely love this one will not break the bank and i just love to spray myself uh with this one because it's very relaxing i love again the lavender in here gives like a clean fresh pure um and actually i already talked about uh fragrances that are fresh clean and pure i actually i could have mentioned this uh, this fragrance in that video uh but feel free to check that video out uh, but yes, this gives that sensation of calmness and uh, relaxation and purity and, and at the same time it's, it seems to be very likable. Actually, I don't have any complaints with performance whatsoever and I think it, this is still quite modern to this day. So this is Caron pour un homme de Caro. The next fragrance that she absolutely loves, and this for me was a surprise, and it's from the house of Healy, and it is Rose Aria. I already talked about this fragrance last year, actually. This was one of the best discoveries for me of last year. So Rose Aria is rose with musk. And the way that this develops is just so intriguing um, because this starts off with this silky rose petals that are falling under like a like a bathtub or just water in general <laughs> and then this starts to fade away like the rose this watery silky rose starts to fade away and then you have this animalic musk uh in the dry down it's really fantastic i um, love the the quality of this fragrance love the blend the uniqueness and my girlfriend really loves this one. She always says, what are you wearing? That smells amazing. Um, so yeah, this is Rose Aria by James Healy. Next fragrance, this is from the house of Amouage and it is Overture Man. This was also a surprise because this, this is daring, I would say, because this has a lot of spices like cumin it's very leathery boozy with a uh, with this cognac uh accord and then you have incense so i mean it's it's definitely not for the faint of heart and it's quite powerful fragrance i mean this was the last creation under christopher chong um cre creative direction uh at amouage and i absolutely love this Th this is fantastic um and 
I would not say that this is appealing, but but it is actually. And she is not the only one who really loves to smell this on me. I already received quite a few uh, nice feedback uh, from uh, my friends, and um, they really like this also uh, on me. Actually, I wore this at the New Year's Eve um, for 2023, and yeah, they we had like a home party, and uh, yeah, all of my friends really like this one. Uh, so yeah. Um, wash Overture Man. It's one that you definitely need to, to smell overall, even if you just want to smell for yourself, because in the end, uh, fragrances are free to smell good with you, with yourself. Uh, and, and this one is really some a fragrance that will make you feel really... Imp it will empower you. And that's why I, I love this high-quality scent. This is like a pure Amouache fragrance. Bold, rich... Uh, thick, intense uh, fragrance with all those heavy uh, ingredients that Amouage used uh, used to have. Now they are going into a more commercial uh, direction, but still they have still quite a few that are quite nice. Um, but yes, Overture Man is a fragrance that she absolutely adores to smell on me. The next fragrance from the house of Profumo Broma. Here I could mention a few of them, uh, but well, I will mention this one because it's the one, actually it's the my most worn Profumo Roma fragrance and it is the infamous Aqua di Sale. Aqua di Sale, uh, what there is to say about Aqua di Sale um, that I still didn't uh, set. I mean, this is the best aquatic fragrance. This is the, the most natural smelling, realistic aquatic fragrance. This smells like you are next to the ocean and you're just feeling the, the 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 sea breeze and it really captivates that um it's like you just fill this bottle with ocean water i'm always saying this and it is it really is oh it's so good it's so good and then it's so sensual i love this fragrance because it, it has that like um dry salty musky feel that it's so sensual that i love like the the sillage of this fragrance this fragrance really lingers for a long time even like when i'm spraying this fragrance in the room in the next day i smell aqua di sale like the dry down of aqua di sale in the air it's so addicting and yeah she absolutely loves to smell this one on me because it always reminds her of holidays of us going to the beach and it has this again this sensuality in it so so yeah absolutely love this one it's one of my all-time favorites it's perfume roma aqua di sale next fragrance is from house of surjov and it is wyomi this is just amazing um I love this fragrance. This for me was love at first sniff. This is patchouli, like a fruity, dark, damp patchouli. Oh, it's fantastic. I love, love this one. This smells like a, like sweet dried fruits. I don't recall the note breakdown, but this is like sweet dried fruits with some earthy, uh, damp patchouli love it it has a touch of an incense in here as well um but yeah she absolutely loves this one on me this for her really smells like it smells like a special fragrance uh a, a unique perfume for her uh, and even for me i feel that this is a quite unique perfume uh i would say this is a nice fruity patchouli scent that i still did not smell before so it has that unique factor definitely i love of course the bottle presentation is amazing um, really gives like that rock star feel and and yeah she really loves this great performance um, one of the best from Sergeoff uh, for sure it's Wyoming the next fragrance from house of Maison Francis Courgia and actually it's one of her favorite brands and this is if not her favorite one of her favorites it is Oud Satin Mood Oud Satin Mood it's a classic, in my opinion, already in terms of oud rose uh, fragrances. So, of course, this has oud rose and lots of vanilla. Although, I would say that this is more of a gemu rose, vanilla, a bit of incense, 
and a very mild mild touch of wood so this is not your daring funky or incredibly natural smelling wood i would say this is more of a like a westernized wood but more with uh more enhanced in the, this chamois rose vanilla and a bit of incense it's wonderful and it has like a velvety touch like the rose here it has like a velvety uh texture and i absolutely love this 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 is intense i mean you spray this and next day you will smell it on your skin and on your clothes like this this really lasts this is another parfum you have the extrait which for me i think you don't need the extrait because this is already very powerful uh so i think it this is all you need in terms of oud rose um fragrances if you're searching for a very mainstream a uh, very likable oud rose very easy to easy to wear in a way that yeah it's not very challenging the wood is not funky go with this one oud satin mood it's one of the most popular fragrances from uh maison francis courtian for a reason you know is also one of my favorites from this brand so it's oud satin mood and last but by no means least this is a very recent acquisition of mine and actually it's been a while since i did like a fragrance haul video so i really need to do one and this, this i purchased this one at uh, essence actually it's from uh, the house of jacques fath and it is vetiver gris my girlfriend absolutely loves this one uh th this for me was love at first sniff this is a, a release of this year this was released this year uh vetive gris by Jacques Fath. uh actually this brand is quite underrated in my opinion uh and oh man this is so cool this is a fantastic vetiver i love vetiver she i mean it's not her favorite note and this and uh, that's a reason why and it was for me another surprise uh, because again she usually loves more sweet fragrances more intense fragrances this although the performance is great this actually lasts the the entire day um but it's it's not that, that sweet uh it doesn't have like a lot of sweet edges so th this fragrance is basically like a green very nutty vetiver like imagine a bit of a sycamore by chanel the edp like a nutty vetiver but this is more green like a green nutty vetiver with a creamy salty mildly aquatic accords and you have uh vetiver cri a very intriguing scent uh and it's fantastic man it's it's great this this can be signature scent for, and i love the bottle presentation i mean just uh uh the fact that this is a magnetic cap and the cap actually is very heavy the bottle also and it's very uh, i mean it's very well secured the the cap so i mean the the, the presentation overall is great uh really like it um but this fragrance is simply to die for this is an extra de parfum and it's a high quality scent it's a unique vetiver in my opinion um and it seems to be very likable uh, but at least my girlfriend really loves to smell this one on me. This is a very elegant, very... It has like a... I said this before regarding um, Voyage d'Hermes in my previous video. And this also has that boho vibe. You know, that boho chic vibe? Yeah, this really has that. Or just because I wore this when I was in Italy after I purchased this one. I, next day I went to Como and I went to the Bellagio and I went to the lake of Como so I don't know maybe because I have that image and because I experience all of that um, luxury by the river and maybe that's the reason why for me this is um, very boho chic feel like uh, just wear your linen shirt linen, linen pants and you are next to the ocean or the 
the river or whatever you know and you're just enjoying life this is the, the image that transmits that this one transmits uh, just like uh, Voyage d'Hermes but very different fragrances although both have this salty mildly aquatic feel but this one has like a impression of an amber cream because it has that butteriness like a butchery salty creamy slightly aquatic feel yeah absolutely love this one it's vetive gris by jacques Fab. and so guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this video tell me in the comments down below what fragrances grab your girlfriends or boyfriends or your significant others attention i would love to hear uh and to see your list and if you find value in this video just hit the like button because it will really help this channel uh so guys thank you so much for your ongoing support and see you in the next video take care